welcome back to another video so in today's video it's actually going to be a little bit different but i'm going to show you guys how to make a gfx with custom hair let's get started what you want to do when you launch roblox studio is you want to press explore properties toolbox and command bar and if you want you could press collisions okay so what you want to do first is press play as you can see my character loaded in so now what you want to do is go under workspace as you can see there's going to be three blocks where it shows your username and then you want to right click on your name and then press cut you'd want to stop press the stop button and then go to workspace and right click then press paste into once you paste it into if you would like to take some of your accessories off, go to your username, press the arrow that's down below, and pretend I want to delete lemon headphones, sleep that, just want to right click and then press delete. Well, I got my character all ready, and now what you want to do now is look up hair in models. What I do actually is if I want a hair that I like, I turn it. That's facing, oh no, I can't turn this one. Okay, I turn it the way my character is turned. So it's facing the same direction. And as you can see, this is the hair product over here. And all you wanna do is drag it to your username. And now it's in with your username. You just wanna drag it into your username so you could save, save all of it. Now what you wanna do is right click and press export selection. I'm gonna type in, let's see, um, okay, that's all done. Now, right now, you would like to open up Blender. You could download Blender on Google or Chrome. Once it loads, it's going to show a square. And what you wanna do with that square is you wanna press, you wanna right click it and then press X and then press delete. It's gonna show blender render on the top and you would like to switch that to cycles render. Once that's done, go to your left and press file, import, wavefront. It'll pop up your folders. Now you would like to press wherever you put your file. Mine was in da downloads, so I'm gonna go to downloads and press obj to move you would like to press shift and f it's a this is d this is w this is s okay so you have your character it's all loaded well not really loaded but what you would like to do first is hold down b as you can see it has a pointy thing right here you would like to hold it down with your left on your left mouse and then you would like to um, drag it all the way to the bottom so you collect everything and let go just click anywhere to get get it away and what you want to do next is you want to press object transform origin to geometry after you got that done you would like to press the snowball looking thing and press material the hair looks like this but once you render it it'll look much different what I'm going to do right now is put the hair actually on. Okay, my water bottle fell, but you know, it's alright. Okay, there you go. And if you want the background to be colored, you open this up, press the worlds button over here. Check mark ambient occlusion color and pick any color you would like. It would pop up when you render it. I'm going to do yellow. Now, I'm just going to just turn the head, right click on the head, and then hold down shift and right click on the hair. Then you want to get the turning tool, just press this button and press the turning tool and then press scroll down and press this tool and then just move it a little bit and there you go. Once you're done with that, you would like to press the camera button. And put the resolu resolution to 10,000. And 
the Y to 10,000. Whoopsie, it's too much. And then make the percentage to 11. You wanna look at device, CPU, change it to GPU compute, compute, sorry. Scroll down, performance, change the Hilbert spiral to 256, 256. Then the only thing you need to do is press view, camera, and then do shift F to move. And then after you got your pose down and you like it, press render on your left side and press render image. I'm super sorry guys, I forgot to take the face off. Um, I'm really sorry about that, I hope you guys understand. And there you go, it loaded and this is the final product. And to save it, you would like to go to images, save as, and I'll, I'll put downloads because that's where I could find it more easily, you know. Peach. Lemonade. I spelled it wrong, but it doesn't really matter. And once you're done typing it in, press save as image. And boom, it's saved to your files. And yeah, that's it. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you find this very helpful. And I'm super sorry again about the face. I'm supposed to take it off, but I forgot. I'm so thankful for you guys. I'm so happy. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. XOXO. Bye.